This is the Harbor Freight Mini Lathe. Um, and when you're working with a machine, not just a Harbor Freight machine, you're always gonna have to deal with backlash. That would be the amount that the knobs will turn without actually moving the, um, the carriage here, or moving the cross slide. So you can see as we turn this knob, uh, it's moving back and forth, the amount indexed on our knob. Uh, but there is five thousandths on, on this machine, about five thousandths, that if I move the knob, it doesn't move this at all. That is because the thread engagement um, is not 100%. And really, 100% thread engagement is hard to do. Um, and most machines will have a little bit of backlash. Five thousandths is pretty good. Um, but if you're doing measurements, it can throw it off a lot. So whenever you're taking a measurement, you always want to go forward. Um, so say we're starting at zero and we want to feed in 10 thousandths, that's not a problem, we're feeding forward. But if we want to feed back 10 thousandths, we can't just feed until we hit zero because the backlash, we actually have to go past zero and come to it forward. You have to pass it by more than the backlash amount and then come to it forward. The reason why you always want to feed forward is because the tool pressure will be um, pushing your um, your tool rest this direction. So you always want to be pushing, opposing that, so that you're not having the wiggle going on. If you are boring and your tool pressure is pushing it that way, then you're always going to want to back up to the number um, that you are uh, measuring to. This goes for um, all the knobs um, with the backlash. You need to make sure you um, know how much backlash there is. Measuring it um, one way, you can just wiggle it back and forth until you feel resistance. If you feel resistance, that's because it's um, here your tool rest will be moving. But when it's wiggling back and forth and there's no resistance, it's not moving. Um, you can also notice that the same distance here will be the same distance that this can wobble back and forth. It's hard to measure when it's um, such a small distance, but that would be about four or five thousandths of wiggle right there. Again, sometimes that doesn't make a big difference, but if you're doing higher tolerance parts, you need to know about backlash in order to um, get the correct measurement backlash on your um, knobs here. I have this base um, attached to the stationary part and then the part that moves um, is being read right here by the indicator. And this is not an American one, this is a metric, so it may look like it's moving ten thousandths, but it's actually each one of these little lines is four tenths of a thousandth. So that lines up pretty well with what we got by wiggling our knob. Um, again, we have about four or five thousandths of backlash right here just by wiggling it. Come across is gonna have backlash, uh, but that doesn't have to stop you from making precise parts. You just have to know how to deal with it.